I did not, you know, code things as an eight-year-old. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> I didn't do any of that. I was always really curious about that. And yeah. I was scared. I was the type of kid who, if I didn't do something perfectly when I was little, I wasn't ever going to go back to that thing. Mm -hmm. right? So for example, I couldn't draw a straight line, so I was never going to take an art class. I was always a technology wannabe type person. Mm, interesting. <laughs> yeah. And so I danced around it very, very, for a very long time. In fact, yeah. I don't mean to date myself, but I will. But Back in 1995, I was running a summer. Yeah, that's when I was born. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. Thanks a lot. I was running a summer program. It was my first administrative role in a school, and I was running a summer program. And uh, I asked all of my students during the school year, you know, what is it you want to learn over the summer? Mm -hmm. And there were these three boys who said, we want to learn C++. And they were in sixth grade going into seventh grade. Wow. Yeah. So Wait, this is in 95? Yeah. No, that's amazing. Yeah, I know. I was, like I, was not, <laughs> I was not that kind of sixth grader. Wow. So um, this was in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So that is so random. It is, well, it's random except for Albuquerque is a hotbed for research and science because you have Sandia mm. National Labs there. You have Los Alamos oh, Labs about an hour and a half north. And you have sixth graders who want to learn C++, yeah, so like NBD. Yeah, exactly. So I had to find a teacher that I could hire who yeah. knew C++ and loved sixth graders or seventh. These boys were going into seventh grade. Yeah. So I did that. And um, it's kind of funny. These kids actually went on to win the super computing challenge. They also no went way. On, yeah, the, yeah, several years later. They also went on to like, hack into Sandia National Labs and you know because they were they were these kids who were really bored with regular school and yeah. they were brilliant creative kids and you know when you mix brilliance and creativity with boredom you and know a little bit of computer outcome, science <laughs> yeah yeah the outcome could be really positive or it could be you know hacking into something that you know you probably shouldn't be doing but you learn a lot along the way so okay. um, that was really my first introduction to computer science and um, several things struck me as needing to be fixed. One was that it was boys that wanted to do this, not girls. Oh, that's interesting. The other was that it wasn't easy to find a teacher who could mm. teach it, and that the school didn't really have a place for it. Like, they didn't know. It was great during the summer, and um, I filled, actually, I went on to do a, hire another teacher to do a Java class mm -hmm. and called Java Jungle. Oh, that's adorable, <laughs> Java Jungle. Yeah. I want to take Java Jungle. Who doesn't want to take Java Jungle? <laughs> So, um, yeah, so I found these great teachers and, you know, kids were really, they were building things and creating things and, um, and it was a great experience, yeah. but it just wasn't easy to implement in a school. Yeah, that seems interesting that you notice those challenges, like, right off the bat that both your student demographic, like, had some obstacles and your teacher demographic, like, there just wasn't teachers. Right, and those obstacles still exist today. Yeah. So... I know, uh, I'm like, I can relate. <laughs> totally.